Friends, if you have a three-phase motor and to turn on and off that motor, if you want to use pedal switch, then how you will do the whole wiring, let's learn through this video. First of all, you need to provide three-phase power supply to this motor. As you can see, I have three-phase power supply. First of all, take these three-phase supply and in this contactor L1, L2, L3 terminal which is there, connect this power supply with these terminals. After connecting this, on turning on this contactor, this power supply will go to T1, T2, T3 terminal. With this contactor, overload relay is also connected. So output terminal of overload relay here, T1, T2, T3 terminal, power supply will come on these terminals when we turn on the contactor. From output terminal of overload relay, connect three wires and through these wires provide power supply to motor. Now we have to turn on and off this contactor so that motor can be turned on and off. For this, we will use pedal switch here, which is also known as foot switch. Connection of this is very simple. You have to connect phase and neutral supply. You have to connect neutral supply with A2 terminal of contactor. That is, connect one wire from neutral supply here and connect with A2 terminal. After this, what you have to do, take phase supply and connect with pedal switch. You will get two wires in pedal switch. Among these two, one wire is common. You have to connect phase supply with this. Now in this pedal switch, one more wire is there, that wire is of NO contact. By connecting a wire with NO contact wire, simply with NC contact of overload relay, connect this wire. In this pedal switch, only two wires are there for connection. You can connect any wire with any terminal among these two, it doesn't matter. Through this pedal switch, power supply came to this point. Now we will get power supply of this point at this point. That is, we will get power supply at output terminal of overload relay. So from this terminal, take power supply and with A1 terminal of contactor, connect this supply. For this, connect a wire from this terminal and directly with A1 terminal, connect this wire. So in this way, we have to do whole connection. If I tell you this connection through circuit diagram, then you can see here we have a motor and to this motor, I have to provide three phase power supply. So take three phase power supply and connect with the contactor directly like this. Now power supply from this contactor will go to overload relay. And through overload relay, power supply is provided to motor. This much connection you can see here is known as power wiring. That is how we have to provide power supply to motor. Now if we want to operate this motor, then we have to turn on and off contactor. To turn on and off this, we do control wiring. In control wiring, we have to provide power supply to coil of contactor. As I told you before, in coil of contactor, at A2 terminal, we will connect neutral power supply directly in this way. Now at A1 terminal of this contactor, we have to connect phase supply, but in between, we will connect switch also. For this, what you have to do, take phase supply and provide incoming power supply to foot switch. Now from output terminal of foot switch, power supply will go to NC contact of overload relay. That is 95 number terminal here, connect power supply with this. Now from 96 number terminal of same overload relay, power supply will go to A1 terminal of coil of contactor. After this much connection, if I press foot switch, then you can see motor turned on. And when I release foot switch, motor will turn off automatically. On pressing this, motor turn on and on releasing this, motor turn off. Friends, I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.